the S24 Ultra launched as probably one of the best Android smartphones on the market, but after nine long months, after the hype has died down, is it still worth picking one up? Let's talk about it. I won't spend too much time here on the design and the specifications and things like that because honestly, I covered a lot of that in my original award-winning review of the S24 Ultra. So if you haven't seen that, I'll definitely leave a link below in the description for you so you can go ahead and check that out. But overall, the design remains very unchanged when compared to its predecessor. I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about in terms of the actual design, just a slab of titanium and glass. And you know what? It's pretty solid. But just in case you are new here, let me give you a rundown of the specifications. Inside we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which is great and fine tuned for these Samsung devices. Let me tell you, we also do have 12 gigabytes of RAM and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which we'll talk about in a little bit. The display here is where this thing shines. This has a massive 6.8 inch crispy 120 Hertz AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 3120. That really just looks good. And on top of that, because you waited a while to potentially pick this up, the display settings have been updated with a Vividness slider, which definitely adds a kick of color to everything and really enhances the overall experience. Of course, if you're buying the S24 Ultra or if you already have one, you're probably very familiar with this, the S Pen. Now there's a lot of S Pen to be had on the S24 Ultra series. And not a lot of features have changed over the years. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I personally just don't use the S Pen really. It's just not my thing. There are some stuff, uh, some things, some features that I'll tell you about in a little bit, which I do use it for. But uh, on a general basis, I'm just not one to use the S Pen, but there is a lot of fun to be had with that thing. Now, Galaxy AI launched with the S24 Ultra. I believe it did. and. Because of that, there was a lot of AI features that were initially brought to the S24 Ultra, but when the Z Fold 6 launched, there's a whole new world of Galaxy AI that was unlocked. And now, finally, we do have all of those features from the Z Fold 6 line here on the S24 Ultra series. It's actually pretty cool. One of my absolute favorite features on the S24 Ultra, and originally the Z Fold 6, is sketch to image. And that will allow you to draw basically anything you want over top of an image that you have taken, and it will bring bring it to life with AI and give you something really photorealistic. It's actually pretty cool. And another alternative to sketch the image is drawing some simple line art and having Galaxy AI turn it into a magical creation of magic. I don't know. It just it makes really cool images and I really do like how uh, the AI assists you in the photo editing process on the S24 Ultra now, especially since we have those new features. I mean, it's just a lot to unlock and there are so many other AI features in on this phone. I mean, there's really a whole section in the settings called Galaxy AI that you can just go look through and see everything there is to discover. And I really think that a lot of people should dig in and take advantage of some of these because they're pretty cool. And even with all of the features and the AI stuff added, the performance hasn't taken an impact over several months. I mean, this phone has received several performance and security updates since its launch, which is absolutely great because it's brought a lot of new stuff to this phone, uh, like the AI features that I was talking about. And there have been even some updates in the camera department, but do they make a difference? Let's find out. Overall, shots on the S24 Ultra look great. The 200 megapixel camera outputs 12 megapixel photos by default, and I'm really happy with them. I mean, I still think this is one of the best Android cameras you can get. And all the shots I took were crisp and clear, the colors look natural, the dynamic range is very great, and photos in low light are bright as well. I mean, very vibrant. This camera really shines in pretty much any condition. And of course, there's the 12 megapixel ultra wide camera as well, which also, uh, along with taking some nice vivid ultra wide shots in daylight can of course capture macro photos as well, which look absolutely great. And I mean, overall, just the general performance of the S24 Ultra's camera, it, I mean, can I say it's the best Android camera out right now? I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I think that it's one of the best out there, if not the, in my personal opinion, but I'd love to know yours. So definitely drop a comment below. Real quick though, I wanna tell you about this video sponsor, Eufy and their new Smart Lock E30. If you're looking for an affordable and functional Smart Lock, this definitely hits all the points. You can count on having Apple Home support for operation along with Google, Samsung Smart Things, Alexa, and you can connect with Apple Home for smart home automation as well. On top of that, it just looks super cool. With the Smart Lock E30, you've got a super easy 
easy and compatible installation process and quick access to customer support. It's easy to unlock and convenient for any member of the family to use with various methods like your fingerprint, using the app, a physical key, or passcodes. The battery life lasts up to eight months, which is absolutely fantastic. But if you do hit a snag in power, you can easily power it up in an emergency with a portable battery bank. Also, you have built-in Wi-Fi here, so you can control this thing from literally anywhere. And if you forget to lock the door, it'll lock itself for you. If you'd like to find out more about the Eufy Smart Lock E30 or for pricing and whatnot, please check out the link down below. Now, overall, you've got four cameras on the S24 Ultra, at least on the back. You got five if you include the one on the front. So that's a lot of cameras and the selfie camera is great as well. So nothing to worry about there. But me personally, I'm just not a telephoto user. So you have the 50 megapixel uh, 5X telephoto lens and we have a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto lens. And I just don't gravitate towards those a lot, but they're great nonetheless. I mean, either way, the camera package on the S24 Ultra, it's ultra. I mean, it's just about as ultra as you can get. But aside from all that, if you want to know how the S24 Ultra compares to the newly released iPhone 16 Pro, definitely be sure to check out my award-winning video on that, which I will leave linked in the description for you. So here's the deal. With all that photo taking, AI using, and poking around with the S Pen, what's the deal with the battery life? I mean, we got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here, like I said, and you'd think that should be enough to make it through the day, right? Yeah, honestly, I haven't noticed any battery issues and even a power user can make it through the day on this thing. It is an absolute beast when it comes to performance, when it comes to the display, it's got the S Pen, it's got great all day battery life. And really, if you're a minimal user and you get this phone, definitely expect to make it longer than that because this is just, it's a really powerful phone in a lot of regards. Realistically though, if it didn't have good battery life, it's still got 45 watt wired charging, which can take this phone from zero to 100% in about an hour and 15 minutes, which I think is an absolute win all around. So you've made it this far, right? And you're probably wondering, after this amount of time, what do I think about this phone? You know, really, this is one of Samsung's greatest, and it still is. It's one of the greatest Android smartphones out there that you can get your hands on. It's got fantastic camera setup. Like I said, one, two, three, four, five cameras on this smartphone right here. You got five cameras in your pocket, and all of them work exceptionally well. So I really don't think that there's any complaints there. The battery life is great. They just added a bunch of new features for Galaxy AI to this phone. And it's almost like it's been refreshed with a bunch of new stuff for everybody to discover. So I really can appreciate that. Now, would it have been great if it launched with all those features? Yes, <laughs> that would be fantastic. I mean, even just waiting a little bit to have more features on this phone at launch would have been great in my book. but. I can appreciate the fact that things are delayed a little bit to make it seem like even somebody buying a Galaxy S24 Ultra today has a brand new phone with a bunch of features that not everybody has discovered. And I think there's something to be said about that. But overall, I think this is a great phone and I think it's still worth picking up even nine months down the road, right? So let me know what you think about the S24 Ultra down in the comments section below. And I mean, until then, I think I'm gonna stick this in my pocket for a little while longer. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you later.